This video is sponsored by Pet Life Radio, the number one pet podcast and radio network, featuring weekly pet-related talk shows hosted by the most well-known pet experts, authors, radio, and TV personalities in the world of animals and pets. PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another one of our videos. On the table with us right now, we have uh, Lola. And uh, I've been grooming Lola for many, many years. Uh, she's, she's had some health issues. Um, she's blind right now. Um, she One of the things that happened to Lola is uh, she ended up having to have her tail uh, docked and cut off. She she used to have a tail, uh, but she uh, the tip of her tail ended up developing cancer. So uh, these are the things that happen. These are the things that we come across as groomers. And that's why I always mention that all dogs are different. And, uh, and, and during the lifespan of the dog also, things may change. Uh, the, these issues come up. So we're dealing with Lola on a whole different level. Um, and a lot of times, and I'm sure a lot of you groomers might agree with this, when dogs start to go blind, they become very, very reliant on you. They become more docile and, and, and you really need to be gentle with them and 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 uh, just reestablish how the how the grooming is going to take place um, but with that being said uh, we're, we're going to show you uh, how we brush out the tail and we're also going to show a, a, a little bit of an ear plucking video on her too it's not very severe but before it gets out of hand uh, we're going to show you that too so uh, let's let's start Okay guys, so as we mentioned, Lola had to get her tail uh, removed and docked, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but uh, as groomers, I suggested to the owners, I said, uh, why don't we see if we can let this hair grow so that we can at least give the appearance of, of having a tail. Um, and again, this is just an example of uh, what not to cut. Uh, sometimes you have to use hair to make for a better uh, grooming or a, a better visual. Uh, so we're creating the illusion that Lola has a tail. Uh, with that being said though, we have to be very, very careful because she's very sensitive on her tail too. So, and because there's nothing that the fur is attached to, it tends to knot up more easily because it's just kind of fly away. So it's picking up a lot of moisture and a lot of dirt and stuff. So it, it causes the tail to get a little bit knotted. So how we brush the tail is very, very important. So what we want to do here is we, we want to make sure that we're not pulling or creating any tension here at the base of her tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of support the, the hair just like you would if you were like brushing out someone's hair uh, and you didn't want that pulling on them. And I'm using the corner of the brush and I'm doing it very, very gently and kind of just supporting the hair with my left hand because I don't want her to feel any pulling or tugging. So I'm just going to switch here, do that. Okay, and then coming underneath it is the challenge. So because that's where she's a little more sensitive. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of placing the brush and again, just supporting the hair with my index finger and thumb. Uh, but just like that, just kind of getting all the knots out. So again, we just wanted to point that out to you where, you know, sometimes just leaving hair on the dog will <laughs> create a much better visual because it looks like she has a tail. You wouldn't know that she doesn't have a tail unless we, uh, we showed you like we did. Um, either way, she's just so cute. Okay, guys, so now we're moving on to her ears. Um, so L Lola has kind of uh, battled some ear infections in the past. So at the suggestion of the vet, he recommended, really recommended that we do uh, some ear, ear pulling. So what we're gonna do is just inspect and see what we have. And uh, just kinda gonna really try to get down in here um, so that uh, we're not tugging too much here. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our ear powder in, not a lot right there just like that um, and then we're gonna kind of just do this try to get some of it out from the ear canal and again, I'm using my index finger and my thumb on this I'm just gonna kind of pull gently you know, I'm supporting her ear with my other hand and we're just pulling a little bit at a time a little bit at a time just like that 
not hurting her, guys. If, if I was, believe me, she'd be letting me know. Yeah, just kind of pulling a little bit at a time. This, this piece right here is the culprit and what we want to kind of get out. I'm, I'm, if I feel myself pulling too hard, I'll just stop and grab less hair. Because some of these hairs are going right down into the canal, you know? Her upper canal, anyway. As we mentioned in past videos, there's there's two canals. There's the upper and the lower canal, so you're not, you know, you have to be careful to go too deep or hurt them. But you see, it's kind of getting what I can out. All right. And as I mentioned in the past, what I like to do is, I like to leave a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you could see that in the shot, but there's a little bit there. I got the bulk of it out, and I got those those inner uh, hairs out. Uh, but I like to leave this little bit so that it just kind of captures any dander or uh, dust um, or debris that might go in. Uh, it, it will get caught in those hairs, believe it or not, and she could shake it out. So now we're just going to go to a cotton ball. I'm going to roll up a cotton ball. I'm going to put it on my forceps. And we're using, um, we're using Pro Ear. It's a uh, ear cleaner. And we're just kind of putting a little bit on. And we're just going to do a quick swab and dab. Her ears are very clean. So just kind of cleaning the crevices here and just pulling right out from here and here um, but her ears are in very very good shape you could see how pink they are there's no infection but by doing this what you're doing is you're going to really avoid an infection and again she has battled many ear infections in the past uh, but that's about it I mean you could just see the difference there and just by pulling out that little bit of hair um, you know your uh, the, the oil and and, and, um, and dirt isn't getting trapped in there because what happens is moisture will get trapped into those hairs and and they will they will kind of bead the water down into the lower ear canal and that's when you start getting infections um, so by getting it all out uh, when she shakes her head that water will shoot out of her ear and uh, you know she won't have that excess moisture but that's about it guys all right with that being said guys thank you so much once again for checking us out uh, please uh, like share subscribe like us on Facebook follow us on Instagram Twitter uh, guys as always please check out our radio show it's called groomer humor on pet life radio and on behalf of me Anthony and the sweet little Lola here thanks again for checking out another video